The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank from it. This is the blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many, he said to them. Truly, I tell you, I will not drink again from the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the gospel passage today, we just have listened to Jesus shows us to be grateful, to be thankful at all times. In fact, the gospel tells us to be grateful to God even in critical times. You see, Jesus took the bread and then the cup of wine and gave thanks to God. When did he do that? He did that on the very eve of his passion. That was not the best times in his life. It was the worst time in his life, the most critical time in the life of Jesus. Today is a special day for Father Mendy. It is his 100th birth anniversary. Think about it. How great is that gift? He's the first Filipino Dominican to have reached that age, 100 years of life, of blessings. Do you know exactly how Father Mendy feels today? He has been hospitalized in the past days, and today the good news is he is released from the USD hospital. What a gift. No one here does know exactly how Father Mendy must be feeling today. And neither do I know. Is today a good time or a bad time for Father Mendy to celebrate his 100th natal day in the midst of the pandemic after being hospitalized, though by God's grace he got out of it. What do you think? Is it a good time or a bad time? I do not know. Surely the answers to my questions do not matter to Father Mendy at all. For we can be sure of this. Many great and beautiful feelings must be welling up from Father Mendy's heart. And one of this must be a deep sense of gratitude. Indeed, one's birthday is always a good time to be thankful, to be grateful. Since Father Mendy celebrates his 100th birthday, he must be grateful 100 times over. Yes, he is overflowing with joy and gratitude today for many reasons. He has received too many blessings to count or to tell to give thanks and praise to God. But let me single out but four of them. First of all, Father Mendy must be thankful for the gift of human life itself. God willed him to be wonderfully made, a human person, a beautiful creature in God's image and likeness. Intelligent and free, he is born to love and find joy, not only in all the physical and material blessings of life, but above all, to find happiness in truth, goodness, and beauty. As you know, the older one gets, one realizes evermore that human life is a gift. And for one to have reached 100 years of life, what 
a deep realization that must have been for him. One does not own it. Life is not one's own making. It is totally a gift from the God of life. From the God is the fullness of life, the fullness of love. Integral to the gift of life are the innumerable blessings that have sustained Father Mendy in all his life, that made his life flourish and even made it enjoyable. Father Mendy is happy. He always wears a beautiful smile. He must have been enjoying his life until this time. Every life has its own bumps and, and humps, surely, its own ups and downs, high and low moments, bright and dark days, wonderful opportunities, inclusive of inevitable crisis. Father Mendes' life is no exception, and for one to have gone through and triumph in all of this for 100 years so far, how could Father Mendy not be so grateful? Through all these changing, challenging, but even exciting seasons of life, God has extended to him so many gifts and graces he needed. God has sent numerous men and women, doubtless inclusive of angels, to come to his aid at the time he needed it most. Indeed, it is God who brings forth life, who sustains life, who makes it mature and flourish and bear fruit in plenty. For as sacred scriptures put it in the Acts of the Apostles, for in Him, for in God, we live, move, and have our very being. Second, Father Mendy must be grateful for the gift of his Christian calling. God of Father has a bigger dream for him. God has called him to faith in his beloved son, to become his own adopted son, to receive his gratuitous divine life and love. And within that big Christian vocation, Christ has called him to be his priest. And furthermore, to the life and mission of a Dominican friar. The Lord has called him to be chaste, poor, and obedient in the service of the preaching of the gospel, in the service of the preaching of the reign of God, to a life and mission of a servant and shepherd of God's people. Think about it. How Father Mendy has been blessed abundantly. Who could not but be grateful? Third, Father Mendy must be thankful that he has made more of the gift of his human Christian and Dominican religious and prison life. His human Christian and Dominican life must have become richer and fuller in the life of service to God and people. And we know his life story in various ways. He has been useful. He has become a gift to others. As a good person, as a friend, a priest, a preacher, a philosophy professor, a spiritual director, a chaplain, a Paris priest, and many more. Surely his life has become a greater gift because it had been shared, broken, for the good and well-being spent for the happiness of so many others, of so many brothers and sisters in the Lord. Finally, above all, on top of this priceless Christian vocation, God distanced Father Mendy to a lasting share in the gift of eternal life. We know our Christian vocation. Father Mendy is called to share forever the joy of God himself, the beatitude, the gift of everlasting happiness in God's delightful presence. 
Indeed, the destination of life goes beyond 100 years, even a thousand or a million years of life in this world. Even if that were possible at all. Your destiny and mine, far tremendous destiny, is nothing less or more than the gift of eternal life a full and just life in God's company forever. Buhay na ganap at kasiyasiya sa piling ng Diyos magpakailanman. So my brothers and sisters, what else do you think could Father Mendy ask for? I do not know. Only God knows what more blessings is in store for him in this life in this world. Definitely, he has received from God more than he has ever expected. And behold, God promises to him more than he could ever hope for. For as St. Paul would say, what no one I has seen what no ear has heard and what no human mind has conceived. The things God has prepared for those who love Him. But there is one thing that Father Mendy knows to do today that he can and should do. That is, to give thanks to God today and all the days of his life. He knows for all that he is and has, for all that he has become and will be, he knows deep in his heart he could not thank the Lord enough. He could not thank the Lord enough. Thus, my brothers and sisters, we can only join him today as Father Mendy takes the piece of bread and the cup of wine like Jesus and thanksgiving to God our Father with the Lord himself and his holy Eucharist as in the olden times we would say when there is a big or special day for anyone Benedicamos Domino, Deo Gracias. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.